Hey, it's around here. Welcome to a tech tutorial on how to set up your DKIM, SPF, and DMARC records in order to comply with the latest regulations that are coming out that have been announced by Google and Yahoo in order to protect email subscribers from spam and from scams and from phishing accounts and things along these lines. So us as email marketers, we have the responsibility to make sure that we are verified and authenticated with the emails we're using to send. And that's different requirements that have recently come out from Google and Yahoo. And it's industry-wide. Every single email marketing platform that I know of has basically emailed out to their customer base to take care of these new regulations and deal with those records. So there's probably a support document on how to do exactly that by the email marketing software that you are using. Now, I use system.io for my email marketing. And I have had a whole bunch of people that asked me about what's going on with this, what do they need to do, and so on. So what I've done is I've asked my virtual assistant, who is uh, one of my valuable team members in my tech support membership, to actually record a video of him setting up the SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records. Now, I know that these acronyms are so freaking confusing. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I won't bother explaining it to you right now. If you want, I have a guide that goes through and explains all of that. You can grab it by sending me a DM to my Instagram and just DM me the word SPF or leave a comment below as well. And I can send you the link at some point when I get a chance to look at the comments. But if you want to get the guide right now, just go to my Instagram, send me a DM SPF. It will be automatically emailed to you basically. So that's, we're going to explain to you what is SPF, what is DKIM and what is DMARC. And it's going to explain to you what are the changes, what is required and all of that. Now, in case you want to DIY setting up and doing all the tasks, then my virtual assistant is actually going to share his screen right now and actually show you how to do that step by step. Now I'm telling you right now, when he sent me this video, I was like, I have no idea what the hell you just did. Looks great. Sounds amazing. Please hop on a Zoom call and help me do that myself for my email marketing. And that's what we did. So he hopped on a Zoom call. We did all the verifications with the different records and things along these lines. He, he walked me through the process, what to click and all of that. And we got it done. So you can absolutely DIY the process because he's going to show you how to do that. But if you want help from me and my team to actually do this with you on Zoom, we do offer that as a service. But I did want to provide you with a free tutorial on how to DIY it in case you can't afford my services. And that's okay. If you can't, I totally understand. But I wanted to give it to you as a solution in case you want to DIY it as well. So note that he's using the software called Namecheap, the hosting provider called Namecheap. It might look different to what you're using, maybe using GoDaddy or HostGator or some other software. So it might look totally different, uh, but that's why we do offer that service to help you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to him. He's going to show you how it's done. And then when you want to get the guide as well, either leave a comment below with the word guide and I'll send it, send you the link or go to my Instagram and then just send me the word SPF and you will get an automatic message with the guide as well, which is going to walk you through the whole process. That's about it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to him and good luck setting up all these records. So this is how you add the SPF, DKIM and DMARC records to your domain name. So go ahead and log it into your Namecheap account. So as you can see, we're already logged in into Namecheap and then scroll down on the left side. You see we have private email. Go ahead and click on private email, and then choose the email service that you have with Namecheap. Click on manage. Then by default, you'll see that Namecheap provides you with an SPF record. So we're going to open the domain uh, editor, with the DNS editor. So we'll then add these details to the DNS editor. So click on add new record. Then this should be a TXT record. Go back to the records. So we're going to copy all of this. And then go back to the DNS editor. Paste in the value. And you can see this is an SPF record. Then click on green check mark to save that one. Add new record again. So we're going to add the DKIM TXT record subscription. So when we scroll down here, you'll see that where you have email security, you have DKIM. So we'll click show DKIM. And this is the DKIM record. So we're going to copy this, copy. Go to the DNS editor, paste it, there you go. And then copy the whole of this, what's in parentheses, all the way to B. Copy that, and then put it in value. Let me click on save. So now to our last record, which is the DMARC record. So 
there is no DMARC record provided with the name chip. So we're going to use a DMARC record tool, which is called Easy DMARC. Then we're going to add the DMARC record. So you have to sign up for an account, which is free, and then come to this, and then it's going to give you the record. So we're going to click on copy, add new record. We're still doing TXT records. Paste what you copied in, um, host. And then go back to the DMARC record tool, click on copy, and then go back to your records, advance to DNS, and then paste it in there, and then click on the green check mark. Okay, so once you're done, you can come back and verify this now, or you can do it later, however you want to do this. Should be able to change once the DNS has propagated after several hours. So we'll take a couple of minutes and then come back and see if this has propagated correctly. Okay. Hope this helps you out. Have a nice one.